All right, we are live. Guys, we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna be talking about budgets. So if you are on a budget, it's not working for you. If you're trying to decide, should we be on a budget? Is it even worth it? Is it worth the time? If you are frustrated with trying to budget, if you, again, if it's something that you tried before and it's like, and you're still wondering, is it necessary? Whatever it is, if you're skeptical of budgets, if you think budgets are a bunch of crap, or do we need them? Do we not? Is it the deal breaker? Is it what gets us out of debt? Is it what allows us to build wealth? What's the truth about budgets? That's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you've been wondering any of those questions or had any of those thoughts, this is what we're going to be talking about because guys, it is so important to get this topic right. There is so much crap out there when it talks to, when it, when it, when, when it comes to budgeting and it's, oh, like it's, so first of all, like I want to talk about this. Okay. So how many of you guys know, raise your hand. Well, you can't raise your hand, but you can leave it in the comment section and I'll, I'll definitely answer your questions as we go. If you guys have any comments, um, feel free to do that. Or in the, if you're watching the replay, you can do hashtag replay, leave a comment. I will respond to it. But guys, how many, you know, and maybe you're that this person too, but how many people have you met that are rocking a budget? Like we, we do our budget every month. You know, we sit down, we write out all of our income, all of our expenses. We know where every single dollar is going. And it's like, and they're still broke. And they've been living on a budget for years. And they're still in debt. And the debt's barely going down. And at this rate, it's going to be five or 10 years before they're debt free. And they're still not putting money in their retirement account. And they're still not really building and saving an emergency fund. And their marriage still isn't all that great. And their communication isn't still all that great. And they still haven't saved for kids' college. And they're still, you know, driving a crappy car. And they're still not making a lot of money. And, 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 or, 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 or all of those things. How many times have you seen people like that? Or maybe you've been that person before. And guys, I'm going to, I'm kind of tattling on myself here a little bit because, you know, years ago, I thought that budgeting was everything. That was the secret. It's the secret. I had a whole training on it. My whole training was about getting budgeting right, doing budgeting the right way. And I don't want you to think I'm poo-pooing budgets. I, I, I do believe, so kind of, you know, stealer or what do you call it? Foreshadowing. <laughs> this is foreshadowing, I guess. I'm not saying budgets aren't that important. In fact, I do believe in budgets. They're helpful. But again, just I'm tabling that for a second. We're going to talk about that later, but, and how to do that right. And like how to do it wrong and why most people, it doesn't work for them. And, but really like, I want to talk about the importance of it because I used to think that again, budgeting was everything. It's like, this is the make or break for what allows you to be successful in your communication, community, you know, and your wealth building and your ability to pay off debt. And what, here's what we found to be true over time is everything I just talked about, where you've done all the, like, you know how many people, again, they're doing a budget or some spreadsheet. They, they say they're doing a budget or maybe you've done a budget. Deep down, maybe if you're doing it, you're like, I'm probably not doing it right. Maybe I'm overspending a little bit, but I'm mostly, you know, managing the money that's coming in in a decent way. We kind of talk about it. We kind of do that. But again, you're still struggling. And for, for years, I used to think, okay, this is, this is everything. But then what we found to be true, guys, is really interesting is that you can have a budget rocking a set and none of those things could be working for you that we just talked about earlier. You can be working a budget and still, again, a year later, two years later, 10 years later, nothing has really changed that much with your financial situation. So I started scratching my head going like, what's the deal here? Like I thought budgeting was everything because that's what I was trained when I was getting trained as a financial coach, was like teach people how to budget. I'm like, okay, I did that. But then what was also interesting was this. I met people that, had been on a budget before, but they didn't stick to it. And I would help people get on a budget, but they wouldn't stick to it. And it's like, I would show them all the mechanics. Okay, here's how to do the app. Here's how to put the information. Here's where to do this. Okay, here's one to meet and all that. And they wouldn't do it. And they'd do it for like a month or two, whatever, but then they'd be miserable and it wouldn't be, and it'd be, it'd be exhausting or it would be time consuming, or it would be just, you don't feel like doing it. It was boring. It was disengaging. It was, bleh. you just didn't like it. And so I'm like, well, what's the deal? I'm like, I thought budgeting was everything. And so even the people that were working the budget that I was giving to it, it was great. Like their communication was improving a little bit. Like they were getting some mastery over their money. Like they were paying off more debt. It was great. And again, guys, budgeting is great for all of our clients. We do, we, we taught, we show them the basics of that and the foundations, but that's not the entire, like that, that's this much of the equation to really paying off debt and building off wealth. Well, it's this much. And even then, if you don't get the rest of it right, this much isn't really going to make that big of a difference and you won't even stick to it. You won't even do it right. You, and you, it'll be something that divides you. It will be something that makes you more aggravated with each other. It will make something where you feel more depressed or you feel more behind or you feel more like, what's the point? So again, that's, that's, that's really what the deal with budgeting is that 
it's just, it's one of those things that for most people, it's no different than like, what's the secret to getting ripped? Man, getting that, getting that weight set. Man, when I get that weight set, that's going to be everything. That's what allows me to get super buff is I get the right set of weights. Or is it like I found the right gym? The gym, the structure, that's really what I'm talking about. Structure, strategy, mechanics, the gym. I'm rock. I got my gym membership. It's the gym. That's what's going to change my life. I'm going to get me some gym time in, right? Is it really the gym though? Like, is it really the gym? Or is it who you become before and during it and after the process of being at the gym? So really guys, here's what's really interesting. And you guys, if you're, if you've been on, if you've been watching this for any period of time, we talk about a few different pillars, but we're going to specifically, again, Jeremy, you always talk about this because it's the most important thing. It's the most important thing, your mindset and your marriage, you know, specifically, we're going to talk about again, who you become in the process. So guys, here's the thing. Okay. You can rock a budget again. If you want to rock a budget, you want to go try a budget. That's fine. Again, just, just as a caveat with that. Never had one person that we've worked with that was doing it properly. Not one, not even one, sorry. All you overachievers and people that think you're doing your budgeting right, you're not. There's so many parts to it. There are literally hundreds of components where a budget, you know, basically a, a, a strategy for how to manage the money coming in can train wreck and derail. I see it all the time, whether it's just the way that you're communicating about it, whether it's, you know, how exactly you're planning it. The categories, the management, the 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 what happens if this happens, if this happens, if this happens, if this, what about this, this, this? There's so many nuances to it. Never had a single person do it. I've had people come to me like, well, I led this class on whatever. And they were totally screwing it up. I had one guy one time like try to tell me off, like he's like, I I led Financial Peace University and I have and I know how to do the budget. His wife was told first there was he had some spreadsheet that he would project out for like a year and like you know, and it was some crazy thing. He was like a he was a CFO at some company. And it was like his wife couldn't make any sense of it. <laughs> and she was like, I don't know what the heck this means. And he's like, I don't know how to budget. But it was, it was a terrible strategy. It was a terrible, like even the strategy part of it was terrible. Like the implementation of it. I was like, it shouldn't be that complicated. This should take you like five, 10 minutes a week at the most to like to, to work, like to do this. It's like at the most. And that's like spending more time than you probably even need to. It's like, if, if you're really doing it right, it doesn't take that long. And even if you do, take longer than that. It should be fun. It should be something like, Oh, I want to talk. Let's talk about the budget. Let's talk about the budget. Like let's have some fun working with the numbers because it represents your dream and your goals and exciting. And that's how it really should be. But that's not what was going on. And that's not what happens for most people. Budgeting for most people, even if you are doing it, it's not sexy. It's not enticing. It's not intimate. It's not fun. It's not dream centered. It's not, um, it's not something that revs you up and juices you. It is, bleh. it is boring. It's like oh, the budget. If anything, for a lot of you guys, it's a reminder of how many times you've sucked over the week because you haven't stuck to your numbers and or you forgot to enter in your receipts or you forgot to do whatever or you forgot. And it just becomes a drag. It's literally like, oh, yeah, like, please put me back through my pre-calculus class in high school. That would be so much fun. I would love that. Now, all you math nerds are like, Jeremy, I love pre-calculus. I would totally do it again. Good for you. But for me, I did not want something that's going to be complicated but really what I'm saying, guys, is in the midst of all of this is I'm saying budgeting is really not the secret. Budgeting is really not the secret. Again, if we go back to your mindset, your marriage and supporting, it's like, what is it that really allows you to pay off debt? What is it that really allows you to be able to do this? There are things that need to happen from a foundational standpoint from that place. You cannot out, guys, listen, you cannot, like your, your income and your wealth and your, and your abundance and your finances, it's never going to be able, like if, you're, if your marriage and your mindset cannot support it, it's never going to happen. Never going to happen. You have to have those pillars rock solid to be able to support what you want. Now, again, if you don't know what I mean by mindset, really what I'm talking about is I'm talking about the way that you think about yourself, about your money, about life, the state, your emotional state, how you deal with things. Again, for instance, how many of you have lived on a budget and you've broken it? Why do so many people break their budgets? Well, you have some sort of emotional distress. You have some sort of thing you're going on. You're feeling anxiety, feeling guilt. Maybe you just had a money fight. Maybe something's happening, whatever. So in order to cope with it, you go purchase something. Then you feel stressed out about it. You feel guilty about it, whatever. You break the budget, you whatever. You feel more guilty. It's like you do these different things. Like That's just like one of different hundreds of examples. If you don't know how to manage your emotional state and help change the way that you interact with money, and your beliefs around money, your beliefs around what you're capable of, your beliefs around what, you know, I, how do I deal with these sorts of emotions that are coming from our relationship and are coming from my life and things like that. You're going to keep spending. Again, it's you're never addressing the root issues in your heart. 
you're just, it's behavior modification that like through the form of like, it's like saying, it's like, Hey, in order to get over an alcohol addiction, I'm going to just throw all the beer out in your fridge and then we're going to be fine. And you won't be, have a desire to be an, an alcoholic anymore. It doesn't work like that, but that's how people view budgeting. It's like, Oh, if I just get the right budgeting system, I'm going to stop overspending. We're going to have better communication. I'm going to put more money in savings. I'm going to put more money in retirement. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, pay off more debt. It doesn't work guys. It does not work like that. It will work for like a month or two, but it's no different than a gym membership. You'll sign up for a gym membership, just like you would a budget software or something like that. You'll rock it for a month or two, and then you'll go right back to the same old pattern. So what I'm saying with your mindset is like, you have to understand what is going on in here that causes you to keep going back to the same old patterns that are sabotaging you financially. If you don't understand what those things are, you're going to keep ending up back in the same place thinking that there's something wrong with you because I'm st even if you are sticking to your budget, but like a Jeremy, I'm just not, I have my budget. It's not, I'm not, not much is really changing again, guys. That's because there's stuff going on here psychologically that's there. And again, if you're, if your spouse and you and your spouse are on the same page and you guys are sharing finances, it's like, if you're doing one thing and they're doing the other thing and you're not totally linked up with that, then it's like, you could be rocking and your other spouse is going to sabotage it there too. So you have to get clear on those things. You have to ultimately be able to do that. Guys, otherwise you're going to find yourself again time and time and time again struggling. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be a grind. It's like, what is what is going on? And guys, here's another reason why when it comes to budgeting, like this is why when it comes to building wealth, like how many millionaires and billionaires are like, yep, it was the budget that made my that made my thing, you know, my, my ability to be able to do that. Not really. Again, is it helpful? Yes. Can you save a lot of money budgeting? Yes. Does it help your communication? Yes. Again, you, everybody, I, I believe every married couple and single person, but like you should be doing some form of a budget. You need to be doing it right. No one ever does it right. That's why one of the many reasons why people come to us is like, I don't know how to do this right. I know that I'm probably screwing it up. And most people just, just by implementing the budget that we see on average, probably about a thousand dollars a month more put toward their goals, their savings goals or debt-free goals, just by learning how to do it right. So it is important. But guys, again, here's the thing, even from a wealth building standpoint, an abundance standpoint, guys, you can only do so much with the money coming in. Like if so many of you guys are frustrated, you're like, Jeremy, but like, we're just not making progress on our debt, on our savings, on our retirement, on our, on our house, our house fund, whatever it would be, guys, it's because even if you are rocking a budget and you're crushing it, you can only do so much with the money you have currently coming in, period, period. Like, that's it. Like if you only make $5,000 a month and your expenses are 4,000 and you have, a, and you can put a thousand dollars toward debt. If you have a hundred thousand dollars in debt, and you don't increase your income, you're going to be in debt for the next 10 years or something like that. I mean, it's guys, it's like, it's never going to, it's not going to, you have to increase your income. So guys, here's the truth. Even with budget, a budget is going to reveal and plug a lot of the holes and where the money is coming in and, and how to manage that better. It's super important. I definitely want you guys, again, if you're not watching this, yes, you should be able to, you, you need to do a budget. But again, there needs to be done the right way. It needs to be done the right way in terms of like, even just a technological standpoint, the setup, that how do you and your spouse actually do it, how you communicate around it, how frequently when you do, how do you do it in a way it's exciting, it's fun, it actually draws you closer together. That's all important. But again, guys, like if if you don't, if you're still in debt and you're not building wealth, if you don't fi figure out how to become the type of person that can level up your income potential, guys, you're never going to move the ball on the court that significantly, period. So, and again, this is, again, my training. I was taught, it was like, just teach people how to budget, where to put their money in their insurance, what insurances to get, where, where to put money in retirement, you know, just teach people how to, you know, not go into bankruptcy, all things like that. Thinking that the strategies, the mechanics was really the biggest thing, but guys, it is not, and it, and it never will be. And I just want to say this to some of you, because some of you guys are watching this. And again, I would love to, some of you guys in the comments, like, what are some of the things you've tried? to really get the debt figured out, to really get the, you know, and we'll talk about, I'll be happy to go back and forth with you in the comments here. You know, some, um, to build wealth, things like that, because I feel bad for so many of you guys. And it's like, it really drives me nuts. There are programs out there. There are church financial programs. There are books out there, things like that, that so many of you guys have tried. You've tried it and it's, and you, and you're sitting here like, Jeremy, I tried these other things it, and nothing is really changing that significantly. Maybe it helped a little bit, but I was just talking with one of our ladies today. She's like, it was great information, but it was not transformation. I didn't become a different person in the process. And even then I took the class into the thing, but it's like, I kept finding myself back in debt. Or even then, like it still wasn't helping us really feel like a powerhouse of a team. 
like even then it wasn't really helping me build wealth and get like a solid savings. Like it was good information, but guys, these classes that you're going to go through with your church and things there's nothing wrong with them. It's great to know like what the Bible has to say about savings and, and how to, and how to pay off debt. And again, it's like, those are all great things, but guys, is the reason why you're stuck because you haven't memorized enough Bible verses about how to, about saving money. Is that really the problem? Now, again, that's important. I love the word of God. We teach people the word of God. What does the Bible have to say? But it's important. But what I'm saying is, as so many of you guys are like, you've read the Bible verses, you've watched the videos, and it's like, it was great information, but basically it was like, hey, you should do a budget. Okay, great. But how? How do I do it successfully? Just do it. That'll help. Okay, so you fumble your way through it. A lot of you never even get to the point where you do, but it's a lot of you do it, and it's like, and it doesn't really work that well. And it's still not that fun. And it's still kind of draining. And it's still, you're not really changing that much. It hasn't really changed a lot in like who you become in the person. You don't feel like this more powerful version of yourself. You don't feel like this more powerful team. It's like, you're just, you've taken on another strategy. Good for you. Great. So you're like, okay. So you're like, I did that. And it's like, the reason why, again, I'm so frustrated for so many of you is because again, you've been fed this, you've been sold this bill of goods that of if you just like get the right systems and, and mechanics in place, that that's going to do it for you. And it's just not, you watch the next video. It's like, okay, um, like, you know, where to save, where to put your money. Okay, put it in this account versus this account, you know, do this and diversify things like that. You know, people don't know how money works. Exactly. I would, I would absolutely agree. I think it's Avaya. It's good to see you. Ava, or, uh, Ava, sorry, Avia. Good to see you. I love, that's an awesome last name, by the way. Super, um, if you're married, good job on your husband with that. So just love that guys. But again, so again, but so you watch it. Okay, you're looking at it. You're like, uh... Well, okay, so I'll put my money here in this account. Great, so that should fix it. And then six months later, your savings hasn't really gone up. So you're like, okay, that's you know, five years later, your retirement balance isn't quadrupled. Okay, so I, I did what you told me to do. I put the money here. I I, I invested it here. I did this. Um, okay, let me watch another lesson on insurance, on where to put the right money in insurance. Okay, so you put it in the right insurance, and and you now you get cheaper insurance, and it's like, okay, great. But again, it's not really that much has really changed. And, and guys, again, this is the really truth is that really the truth is that again, it's the reason why you're not where you want to be with your wealth, with your debt freedom. It's not primarily about budgets and mechanics and strategies. Again, they're all helpful. It's all helpful. Like, is it helpful? Like if you're looking for a job to know where the best job postings are? Yeah, it's great. Um, I love that. God is my father. Such a beautiful name. Um, there's so many different things that, you know, it's like, um, when it comes to that and it's like, okay, is it, is it, is it helpful to know what websites work? What websites don't? That's great. Yeah. It's a great strategy. Is it helpful to know like how to write a better resume? Yeah. It's a great strategy. Is it helpful to know, um, you know, how to network the right way? Yeah. But guys, it's who you are in the process, in the process, becoming a more powerful, confident, certain, you know, someone who owns their worth and owns their value and knows how to actually get paid accordingly for it. Things like that, the, the seeing your potential, your giftings, your power. I'll give you a perfect example. One of our clients posted this great video and it was about a guy who it was a very famous a motivational speaker. And it was so interesting. He's like the first day, he's like, I want to become a disc jockey. I'd, so I, someone said, hey, go here to become a disc jockey. The guy knocks on the door. He's like, you know, the guy says, hey, do you have a job for disc, disc jockey? He's like, no, there's not taking applications. There's nothing there. He's like, okay, great. So he, he talks to his mentor. He's like, go back the next day. So he goes back again. He's like, hi, sir. My name is like, here's my name. It's like, I'm looking for a disc jockey. And he's like, you know, a position. And the guy's like, I, I, what are you talking about? I just told you, we don't have anything. Get out of here. And he's like, and so he came back the next day, the third time. He's like, hello, sir. I'm looking for a position. And he's like, what did I tell you? I told you, get out of here and stop coming back. No, go get me some coffee. And it was so funny. It was really interesting. Is, is eventually what he did is he eventually started to, um, yeah, Money Max. I'm not familiar with that, Avaya. Um, so, um, but anyways, I'll look into it, but again, honestly, again, I don't know, but I'm just telling you again, another strategy. A lot of people, again, it's not saying it's bad, but again, like, is it, do I need a better debt software? Is that it? Is it like, I need, a, I need this bigger, this planning thing. Is that really what's going to change my entire life and make me the most wealthy person in the world? No, using a debt software is not going to help you become, you know, the well, you know, like this powerful, wealthy, you know, strong, confident, capable you know, charging, you know, getting paid your worth and like living wealthy and like doing, making, writing big checks for organizations and changing lives and doing like, that's not what makes a difference. And so again, going back to the story is he goes back in there the third day. He's like, give me my, give me some coffee. <laughs> and so he does that. He starts working his way up. Eventually he ends up having his own show. But like, again, what was unique about it? 
Is it that he didn't, is it that he needed a better system for what to say, what not to say, and, and you know, and, and a better system for like where to look for jobs? No, it was his determination. It was his hunger. It was his grit. It was his own ability to get, basically he got over some of the stuff that was holding him back, psycho back psychologically, some of the lies and the beliefs and the things about he wasn't worthy and he wasn't capable and that he couldn't do that. There was so much that was going on internally that needed to shift in order for him to be able to actually step in and own his purpose and his worth and his contribution in this world and what he was fully capable of. And now the guy's freaking crazy wealthy. But it wasn't that he needed a better strategy. It wasn't that he needed a better strategy. Yeah, feel free to do that. You, I'm, I'd be happy to look at it. Um, it wasn't that he needed a better strategy. It was that ultimately he needed to change who he was at his core. He needed to understand what is it and this three pound, I think it's, I think it's three pounds, you know, little cauliflower looking thing that's really keeping me stuck, that's keeping me from going out there and advancing myself like I really know I'm fully capable of. What is it that's really stopping me? Now, does he use a budget? Probably, maybe, I don't know. But again, it's like, regardless, it was, it was who he became in the process. It's who you guys become in the process. That's what you will hear time and time again. Whenever you watch our client interviews, things like that, it's hilarious. It cracks me up every time. I'm like, guys, like I have to ask them usually like, so how much debt did you guys pay off by the way? Oh yeah, we paid off 30,000. Oh yeah, we paid off 15,000. Oh yeah, we saved this or like, oh yeah. It's like, but when you hear them talk about what has transformed, it's like me, me, I'm a different person. And it's like, I don't have any more of those fears and those paralyzing, you know, the doubts and this and the in the disbelief and like in our marriage and our communication is so much more powerful and intimate and strong and connected. We just feel like we can conquer the world. I feel like I can do, I feel like there's so there's, our, our potential is unlimited. That is what guys, it's it's who you become as as a person and in your spouse, as a team that takes you to that level where there's really no limits. It's your mindset. Absolutely, Elizabeth. A 1000%. It is your mindset. That is one of the number one things that people are missing. Guys, in any financial program and things out there, it's like, yeah, we did the we did the crown thing. We did the Dave Ramsey thing. Again, guys, and I'm not I'm not bashing on any of those things. Again, I love some of those things. Like, again, it's great foundational stuff. Like if you need to understand some of the basics for some of like, you know, what's what's good, to, you know, where should you say, you know, where should you put it in a money market or should you put it in, a, in an emergency, like, you know, a high yield savings account or something? It's like, okay, great. Good information to know. Like, should I put it in, you know, what kind of insurance should I get? Should I leverage an HSA versus an FSA? FS? That's again, guys, good information. But once you learn the basic information, you implement it, you're still left going, okay, great. But I still am not really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially when it comes to income, it's like, great. So, but still, I'm still like, I can only do so much with the money I've got coming in. And even then those programs, they don't show you the ins and outs of how to actually crush it at managing the money coming in. It's like, Hey, you should do a budget. Great. Okay, great. But what, what does it look like? How do I do it successfully? It's not there. I, I led this. I, I led one of the most popular ones, the most popular one. I went through it. And I'm like, well, wow. And what was crazy is I led it and I get everyone goes through the class. And by the end of the class, it's like, no one really did much of it. It was like in the stuff that they did, it wasn't even that great. Like the results weren't even that great. And it's like, they're just going back. Some, some of those people are just going to go back to the same old patterns. They're band-aids, guys. They're band-aids. How many people have you met that went from, you know, 200, you know, or I shouldn't say 200 pounds because some of you guys might, 400 pounds to 200 chiseled six pack abs, just running marathons, Spartan races, you know, just feeling like it, feeling like an absolute Avenger or a warrior. You know, that was like, oh, well, how'd you get there? Oh, it's the P90X, man. Oh my gosh, the insanity workout was amazing. Two years of insanity, right? Is that, how many people have you met like that? Oh man, I signed up for, you know, this, whatever, this pro this product. And like, oh my gosh, how all it is to sit back and take the product. It's like, guys, really, really? That's not how it works. Like, that's not how people become successful. It's not from just, you know, watching, watching a few videos that like show you, like, here's where you put your leg up, then put your leg down, put your arms up, then put your arms down, do this push up, do this. It's guys, it's not that you don't know how to lose weight. It's not, it's like, you know, how to lose weight. How do I lose weight? I go to the gym. I eat whole foods. I exercise. You know, like I, 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 I watch how much I'm eating. I'm like, I watch when I'm eating. I, I don't eat too much sugar, whatever it is. Like, you know it, but then guys, most of our country is morbidly obese. So is it that we need a better strategy on weight loss or is it that you need to completely shift the way that you see yourself, 
that you see that you that you that your your emotions and your thoughts around food around how your behaviors ultimately why you are the way that you are how to shift and become a different person that isn't feel dependent upon those it doesn't go for those things for coping that doesn't whatever guys so many different things that doesn't believe that you're always going to be overweight that doesn't believe that you're really incapable of things that all of these sorts of things again going back to your mindset going back to what elizabeth said in the comments here absolutely it's your mindset the best fitness programs and my peers that i know of that are rock stars at fitness. Again, they're focusing 80, and I, I used to say 80, 80 to 80% 80 str uh, strategy, 20% like mindset, but guys, honestly, it's like 90, 95%, your mindset and your belief system about that. And so guys, it's, it's not talked about a lot. And I just, I'm saying this because I feel for so many of you where it's like, you're like, Jeremy, it's just not working at the level that we want. Even if you don't have debt and you're like, you're just not saving like I know we could. I'm just not advancing like I know I could. I'm, we're just not... We're not in a place of abundance. We're not in a place of like success and fulfillment. Like I know that we truly could be with our marriage and our mindset. I mean, or, or sorry, with our money and our wealth. This is why. This is why. It's because you've been sold a bill of goods. It's like if if you will just do a budget, if you will just do a budget, that's going to change your life. If you will just figure out where to put this, you know, where to park your money and these certain things, that's what's going to change your life. That's what's going to transform everything about your situation. But again, guys, how many people do you know that have done all of the mechanics, all of the structural things with how they manage their money, where they park their money? Oh, and we meet every week to talk about our money, things like that. But again, they're still, they're not full of vitality, energy, excitement, enthusiasm, passion, success. Their marriage is rocking. Their parenting is rocking. Their careers are rocking. rocking. They're feeling passionate, you know, successful. And again, they're feeling fulfilled and all of those sorts of things. You know, they're married again. Most people are not on that level, even if they do have budgets and things like that. And again, the saddest thing is that so many people will walk away from some of those classes thinking that that was the problem. And then when it doesn't work again, they're going to feel like crap and like they can't be successful or they can't be wealthy or that they can't be debt free because clearly it doesn't work for me. It's not your fault. I just want to say that it's not your fault. Now, it is your fault if you know that there's other solutions and ways that are out there and you don't fix it. But what I'm saying, guys, is it's not your fault. So many of you guys are beating yourselves up because literally you did the you did the P90X of your finances once and it didn't work. Guys, those those they're all band-aids, those video like the little the videos, whatever. It's like you have, if you have no accountability, if you have no support, if you have no like people like actual peer group that is going to last more than just a few weeks to, to get you along the way, if you have no way to get your mindset dialed in so that you become the type of person that is internally motivated and sticks to something that you start and, and loves it and gets excited about it. And you're so clear in your dreams. And it's like in your every day, you're living with passion and joy and excitement and just fire for life. If you don't have that, guys, again, it's not, it's, I just want to say, I, I believe for so many of you, it's like, it's not your fault because again, you were just told, hey, do this, this, and this. And it's going to get you there just like so many people told you, hey, do this, this and show up to this gym, lift this weight, eat this specific food. And like that's going to get you in the best shape of your life. And you did a lot of those things and didn't get you there. And you're still like, why? It's because you ultimately one of the greatest things, again, it's like you didn't have the trainer. You didn't have the person there walking alongside of you step by step by step to show you what is it about the nuances of your body that's different for why these things would work for other people, but why this wouldn't work. And why, oh my gosh, and like, oh, actually, it's really interesting. Genetically, you're actually this. And it's like, you know, you think that you can eat meat. And everyone said you need this diet, but actually for you, your body type, you need this. And oh, it's actually really interesting too, is that, you know, it's like your form was like about 10% off on this angle. And if you would, and if, if you don't check, you know, fix the angle, that's why your knee keeps hurting. And that's why, because you're doing that, that's why you don't want to go on the walks because it makes your knee throb. And so let's shift your angle a little bit. And like, ultimately, again, not just showing you like actually how to shift all the nuances personally for you, but again, how to be able to ultimately, ultimately become the type of person, the best trainers on the world, which again, even most personal trainers don't even do this is again, how to become the type of person that loves going to the gym, that loves eating the right way, that gets excited about it, that sticks to it, that ultimately, eventually doesn't even need the trainer to be successful because they know how to be the type of person that rocks it, loves it eats it up. And now they're going out and they're training other people. That's the big difference, my friends, when it comes to your fitness, that's a big difference when it comes to your finances. And that's why so many of you guys, I feel bad for you because you've just been told I did all these things or I tried them. It didn't work for me. So there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you in the sense that these other programs, but there, but there are things that are off internally. Typically <laughs> that's the, that's the main problem. Not typically always. That is the main problem. There are some, there are some things that you need to shift in your mentality and your beliefs and your psychology that are going to be what gets you there. 
And people that come to us, they, they, it's like most people never think that's the problem. They think they just need to do that. I bucked it for the longest time. The first coaching program I did, I spent a ton of money and I signed up and I did it. And I was like, there's all these different trainings and modules around, you know, how to dial in your mindset and how to overcome fear and overwhelm and anxiety and, you know, all these sorts of things and how to stay motivated and how to stay an intelligent, inspired, incessant action and all this stuff. And I was like, that's a bunch of crap. I don't need that. I don't need that. I was like, just show me the strategy. So I'm like, I, I got my marketing in place and I got, you know, my, my ads up and I got my group set up and I got my technology set up and all these different things. And by week seven or eight, I was crying with my coach. I'm like, it's not working. And I'm so depressed and I'm so overwhelmed. and I'm so anxious. And I feel like this is like, I'm way behind. And she was like, and it was finally, I was like, I'm not, I've not fully submitted to doing the exercise of this to follow in the training here to really create a bulletproof mindset and psychology. And when you meet the most successful people, they are the people that have that. That is the key, my friends. That's what makes the biggest difference. And if you don't have that, I would invite you to reach out and go to dreamteammarriage.com, book a call with us, and we will talk to you and help you figure out what has really been keeping you stuck, what has really been keeping you from where you want to be, and we'll help you guys figure it out come up with a plan to fix it. And it's like, obviously there's a strategy involved. It's not just like sit around and think positive thoughts all day long, <laughs> sit around and like, just tell yourself, I am strong. I am powerful. I am confident. I am capable. That's not it either. Vision board. We even have people like, I got my vision board. And it's like, and you've got to, you've had that same thing up there for five years and nothing has really changed. It's like, it's not even really that. That's not what I'm talking about. But guys, there are so many nuances with, again, when, with like guys, when it comes to like, understanding what makes people tick and what helps people overcome the obstacles. We are the best in the world to do that. That's why I invest an insane amount of money right now. I think this over the last year I've spent, we're coming up on almost 75 grand just in my own personal development in my own development, because I'm learning from the best wealth experts and mindset experts and peak performance psychology experts in the world to figure out, okay, how do we take all the strategy stuff and like learning how to budget and how to communicate and like how to grow and advancement and like to become in your team and your teamwork and, and the intimacy and the passion on the marriage side. And how do we incorporate all the best and like how to be able to overcome what's going on with psych psychologically speaking, that's holding people back from being really successful. And then like, how do we take everything that the Bible has to say and how do we incorporate all that? Because a lot of times some of these things kind of conflict with each other and like no one's really doing that guys more than anybody else on the planet that I've met, I have spent time figuring out how do all these things gel together? How does the best in peak performance psychology, the best that has to offer, the best in what scripture has to offer, the best strategies and the technical aspects of things, and how do we combine all these things in such a way where by the time you're done, you are such a powerful, just unstoppable wealth building team where you feel so united, you feel so connected, and you feel like the most powerful version of yourself than you've ever felt in your life. And it's like, you go out there and you're crushing it. You can start that dream business. You'll get that raised. You'll get that wealth building. And it's like, and whatever it is that was really stopping you from life, I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom. We got stay-at-home moms in this thing. We got people in their 50s in this thing. We got people in their 60s in this thing. We got people that, you know, it's like their spouse doesn't even want to be a part of it, but they're rocking it anyway. I don't care what your excuse is. I've seen every single one of them and it doesn't matter. We got people in like rural month, you know, like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of some of these places like Kansas and like, you know, an hour and a half away from the biggest city. We got, uh, we got one of some of our best clients. It's like, they were, they were Mennonites from rural Pennsylvania. They're crushing it, kicking butt. I freaking geek out on it. They just started a marketing company. I'm just like, there's something like a marketing thing. I'm like, this is awesome. It's like awesome. But again, it's like who they became in the process that really just created their ability to be able to do that. And it's so phenomenal. So again, guys, if you need help, if you're like, Jeremy, everything you're saying, it's like, this is totally what I've been feeling, but I couldn't articulate it. Go to dreamteammarriage.com, book a call to speak with us. We will love you. We will serve you. We'll figure out what is it that's really been stopping you from the light that you want, help you build a plan to do that. If we can help you and we're the best fit, I will definitely let you know. If not, I will be honest and upfront with you on that too, because not everyone's a fit. Not everyone. And again, it's like some of you guys, you see these, these interviews and these testimonies and you're like, oh my gosh, like, wouldn't that be great? Well, guys, it works when you work it. It's like one of those things where like, we don't just like, we don't just like take anybody in who has a pulse. It's like, if you can fog a mirror, that's great. But that doesn't mean you get to get in our program <laughs> and what we do for people. Because ultimately, again, it's like, are you going to show up and do the work? Are you going to show up and like, and like really be sick and tired of being sick and tired? But so much of what we're going to do on the call is get you clear on that. And like, really what's going on? Getting, what are the frustrations? What frustrations? What are the pain points? And then we'll get you guys to so like an actual solid strategy to get you where you want to go. And again, if we're the best fit, we'll be honest. But guys, I'm telling you again, if, if you just caught this and you're just tuning in, please go back and watch this on the replay when this is over, because I promise you, you need to watch this. If you've been trying all of the traditional stuff and it's just not working for you, 
as well or as quickly as you need it to or want it to, guys, it's not your fault. You've just been told that that was the secret. And like all the some of the some of the big wealthy experts, especially in the Christian circle, you know, with the programs are like, hey, this is it. This is what's going to change your life. And it's like if you just go through these, you know, these these whatever steps, you know, like all of a sudden you're going to be wealthy. Guys, again, I'm not beating up on Dave Ramsey. I love so much about Dave Ramsey. He's like super inspirational to me on so many levels. He's helped so many people. But guys, again, the baby steps is not what is going to like just working the baby steps. Again, it's a strategy. Do this, then do this and do this. That's great. But most people we talk to, they're not even working them. And even if they are, they, they go one and then they go back to another one. Or again, it's like, oh, I'm baby step four. Then they go back on baby step two or baby step three or whatever. And it's like, and even then it's like, okay, put 15% or more of your money in retirement. Okay, great. But like, where's the money come from? Where does the, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, where are you making more money? Like, how, do you know how to like really go out there and like take your wealth and your income to an entirely another level? Most people don't. It's like, hey, pay off debt first. Okay, small, so large. Okay, great. But I, I, how do I start with that? Like, how do I really conquer my money? Hey, do a budget or, you know, put it, th guys, that's what I'm saying is like, I love, there's so much that I love, but like you've been told that if you will just work these steps or if you will just put a budget in place or if you will just do some of these things, that's going to be the game changer that changes everything in your entire life and makes you like walk on clouds of ecstasy of, and bliss of financial abundance and wealth. Guys, it's not true. The truth is, is that a lot of the people that have worked those steps that have been very successful, there are so many other things going on in the background that you don't see and that you don't talk about in terms of just already the things that were dialed in in here, the things that were dialed in in their relationship, the things that were dialed in just in their trajectory in life, that they just took these steps and it was just like, oh, I need a strategy. It's like they were, but they were already the types of people for so many of these people that were already bound to be successful because they were already working on so many other areas of their life. And so again, guys, I'm not, I'm not beating up on any of those things. I've worked them. I've taught them. It's like, I love them on so many, in terms of like the practical, like it's, it's very helpful. But again, if you've tried a lot of those other things and you're like, Jeremy, it's just not working on the level that we need it to, like it's taking too freaking long or we tried it and we keep failing. And it, you know, we, other people are doing it. It seems like it's so easy for them. They worked it. It's like, I'm watching their debt free scream or I'm watching this person's thing. And I'm like, I don't get it. Why are we still stuck? Why are we still broke? Or why are we still struggling? Or why are we still not crazy wealthy? Why are we not millionaires? I don't get it. Book a call with us to speak with us and we will help you figure that out. Okay. So guys go back, watch this. If you're just tuning in, it was so great to see all of you guys. Thank you guys for the amazing um, comments. Um, again, feel free to hashtag replay, leave a comment and I will definitely reply to it if you have anything about this. But again, what are you guys trying to make it work? I don't know. But again, I've seen everything under the sun, whether it's some credit counselor thing or some debt consolidation thing or some, you know, uh, just going to try this budgeting software, this technology, whatever, guys, again, lump it all in the same category, mechanics, strategy, but it doesn't address the underlying issues that are going on in this thing or this thing, whatever you want to call it, whatever internally that are keeping people stuck. That's what you have to overcome. That's when you do that. That's when your life is going to change. And that's where you're going to get the amazing results that our clients do. So dreamteammarriage.com. Good to see you guys. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to go on a smoking hot date with my wife and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.